The Infernity Archetype is a purely dark attributed series of World West, Native American and medieval themed monsters that are supported by their own spell and traps. They all share the archetypal gimmick of requiring the wielder to have zero cards in their hand in order for the majority of their effects to be used. They made their debut as three promo cards in the 2009 game Yu-Gi-Oh 5D's Stardust Accelerator. Also, if you brought the strategy guide, you got another one. True support would not arrive, however, until the 2010 set, The Shining Darkness, which included two powerful cards for the archetype that when combined produced a truly sinister force. Oh, but I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself there. The most recent support has come out in the 2020 Phantom Rage Booster Pack. Their name of Infernity is a mashup of the words Infernal and Infinity. The combination of the two alludes to eternal damnation, which means to suffer for all eternity because of one's sins. This is a reference to the fact that the Infernities were used in the Yu-Gi-Oh 5D's anime by a character called Kalin Kessler. Kalin went through a lot. He lived, he died, he came back to life, went crazy, became evil, died again, and got reborn, only to realize all of his pain and suffering throughout his life had all been a product of his poor decisions. It is in this darkest moment of his life where he goes to the western-themed Crash Town as a place for him to finally die, as a way to pay for all his crimes. He does this by choosing to duel, relying only on fate to determine whether he lives or dies. Fate, in this case, is what the Infernities embody, as their playstyle relies on a zero-hand strategy, meaning top decks determine the course of the duels. Kalin is literally leaving his life in the hands of fate. So, now we know a little bit more about them, let's take a look at each of the cards in the archetype, starting with... Infernity Archfiend, known in the Japanese as Infernity Daemon. When you draw this card, if you have no other cards in your hand, you can reveal this card, special summon this card from your hand. When this card is special summoned, you can add one Infernity card from your deck to your hand. You must have no cards in your hand to activate and to resolve this effect. Infernity Archfiend is the backbone of the deck, alongside the spell card Infernity Launcher, or as it's known in the Japanese, Infernity Gun. Both these cards were considered so powerful that they were limited to one and have remained so ever since. The reason for this is because back in the day of Yu-Gi-Oh, a thing called a hard once per turn wasn't really a thing. The issue of this is when two cards come together with no real restrictions that garners such an advantage, you get some really bad instances of non-stop plays. In this case, if you throw an Infinity Archfiend, which lets you add a card from the deck straight to the hand, alongside an Infinity Launcher, which lets you special summon cards from the graveyard, since there is no once per turn written anywhere, you get a never ending cycle of summoning, adding cards from the deck to the hand, and extra deck special summoning. There are three tuners so far in the archetype, which are Infinity Avenger, known in the Japanese as Infinity Revenger. Its effect is when a monster you control except Infinity Avenger is destroyed by battle with an opponent's monster and sent to the graveyard, while you have no cards in your hand, you can special summon this card from your graveyard. In that case, the level of this card is equal to the level of the destroyed monster. Infernity Beetle. While you have no cards in your hand, you can tribute this card to special summon up to two Infernity Beetles from your deck. Infernity Wildcat. You can special summon this card from your hand by sending one other Infernity Monster from your hand to the graveyard. You can only special summon Infernity Wildcat once per turn this way. If you have no cards in your hand, you can banish one Infernity Monster from your graveyard, increase or reduce this card's level by one until the end of this turn. You can only use this effect of Infernity Wildcat once per turn. Infernity Mirage. This card cannot be special summoned from the graveyard. If you have no cards in your hand, you can tribute this card to select two Infernity Monsters in your graveyard, special summon those monsters. Infernity Randomizer, known in the Japanese as Infernity Reloader. Once per turn, while you have no cards in your hand, you can draw one card and reveal it. For a monster card, drawn with this effect, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the level of that monster times 200. For a spell or trap card, you take 500 damage. Here's a weird one. Infinity Doom Slinger. 
currently not out in the TCG or OCG, but is only available in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links game. Its effect is if you have no cards in your hand when your opponent activates a card or effect that would inflict damage to you, quick effect, you can banish this card, and your graveyard make that effect damage to you zero, then your opponent chooses whether or not to apply the following effect. Excavate the top card of your deck, and if it is a monster, inflict 2000 damage to your opponent. Otherwise, you take 2000 damage. Shuffle the excavated card into your deck. Infernity Beast. If this card attacks while you have no cards in your hand, your opponent cannot activate any spell or trap cards until the end of the damage step. Infernity Conjurer. If you have no cards in your hand, all monsters your opponent controls lose 800 attack. If this card is in your graveyard and you have no cards in your hand, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. You can only use this effect of Infernity Conjurer once per turn. Infernity Dwarf. While you have no cards in your hand during battle between an attacking monster you control and a defense position monster whose defense is lower than the attack of the attacking monster, inflict the battle damage as battle damage to your opponent. Infernity Knight. When this card in the field is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can discard two cards, special summon this card from your graveyard. Infernity Necromancer. When this card is normal summoned, it is changed to defense position. If you have no cards in your hand, this card gains the following effect. Once per turn, you can select one Infernity Monster in your graveyard, except Infernity Necromancer, special summon it. Infernity Patriarch. If this card is the only card in your hand, you can special summon it. You can only special summon Infernity Patriarch once per turn this way. While you have no cards in your hand, if an Infernity monster you control will be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard instead. Infernity Guardian. While you have no cards in your hand, this face-up card cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Infernity Archer. If you have no cards in your hand, this card can attack your opponent directly. Infernity Destroyer, when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, inflict 1600 damage to your opponent. He must have no cards in your hand to activate and to resolve this effect. Infernity General. If you have no cards in your hand, you can banish this card from your graveyard to target two level 3 or lower Infernity monsters in your graveyard, special summon them from the grave, but their effects are negated. There are currently two extra deck monsters in this archetype, Infernity Hell Archfiend, which requires one tuner plus one non-tuner monster. Once per turn, you can target one face-up card on the field, negate its effects until the end of the turn. Then, if you have no cards in your hand, you can destroy that card. If this card battles an opponent's monster while you have no cards in your hand, any battle damage it inflicts to your opponent is doubled. A dark synchro monster that uses this card as a material can make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. Infernity Doom Dragon requires one dark tuner and one or more non-tuner monsters. Once per turn, if you have no cards in your hand, you can select one monster your opponent controls, destroy that monster, and inflict damage to your opponent equal to half its attack. This card cannot attack during the same turn you activate this effect. Notice also on this card's artwork that its crotch was censored in the international release. Okay. Infernity Launcher, known in the Japanese as Infernity Gun. Once per turn, you can send one Infernity Monster from your hand to the graveyard. You can send this card to the graveyard, then target up to two Infernity Monsters in your graveyard, special summon them. You must have no cards in your hand to activate and to resolve this effect. Infernity Paranoia, tribute one Dark Monster, special summon one Infernity Monster from your deck or graveyard with the same level, but a different name, but negate its effects. During your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card from the grave, then target one Infernity Monster in your graveyard, add it to your your hand. You can activate one Infinity Paranoia per turn. Wave Motion Inferno, known in the Japanese as Wave of Nihility. While you have no cards in your hand, face up Infernity monsters you control gain 400 attack and defense. You can send this face up card from the field to the graveyard to send all cards from your hand to the grave. Zero Max. Activate only if you have no cards in your hand. Select one Infernity monster in your graveyard, special summon it, and destroy all face up monsters on the field with attack lower than the special summon monster's attack. You cannot conduct your battle phase during the same turn you activate this card. Infernity Barrier. When your opponent activates a spell, trap, or monster effect while you control a face-up, attack position Infernity Monster and have no cards in your hand, negate the activation if you do destroy that card. Infernity Break. If you have no cards in your hand, target one Infernity card in your graveyard and one card your opponent controls, banish the first target and if you do, destroy the second target. Infernity Force. Activate only when an Infernity Monster is selected as an attack target while you have no cards in your hand, destroy the attacking monster and special summon one Infernity 
Infernity monster from your graveyard. Infernity Inferno. Discard up to two cards and send the same number of Infernity cards from your deck to the graveyard. This card has become a skill in Duel Links. Infernity Reflector. Activate only by discarding all cards in your hand when an Infernity monster you control is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard. Select and special summon that monster from the graveyard and inflict 1000 damage to your opponent. Infernity Suppression. If you have no cards in your hand, you can activate this card the turn it was set. When your opponent activates a monster effect while you control an infernity monster, negate that effect and you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's level times 100. You can only activate one infernity suppression per turn. Phantom Hand. None of the Japanese as handless fake. Once per turn, if you control a face-up infernity monster, you can remove from play all cards in your hand face down until your next standby phase. And with that, guys, that is the Infernity Archetype done. Let me know if you've ever played Infernities. Do you think they're still as powerful as they used to be? Are you playing them on Duel Links right now? But before we go, let me say thank you to the people that help support me on Patreon and YouTube. Thank you first and foremost to my Platinum backers that give just that little bit extra, and it always means a lot. Nemochan77, as well to all my other Patreon backers and my YouTube supporters. Silver Defender, Michael Wachlowski, Stefan Pohl, Goosey Q, Yu-Gi-Oh! everything. Yokaido Kenya and Riaz Gremory, thank you very much as well to everybody else supporting me. I do appreciate it a lot. Guys, catch you all later. See you next time.